We've been working with John Jones now for about uh, almost the beginning of his career. So he came in a couple weeks ago and he said he wanted three more mouth guards. And so what we're doing now, these two mouth guards here, we're gonna put teeth, three dimensional teeth on his mouth guard. And then in this mouth guard here, we're gonna put uh, three dimensional fangs. And the one now in the machine here, we're gonna add text to it. The first step is we get a, a negative impression. This is John, John Jones's impression. And then we pour liquid stone in here. And in about 20 minutes, it hardens up. And then we have a positive mold of his dentition. Then we put this in here. We take the EVA sheets. So this is a thermal forming machine. So we use heat and pressure to hand fabricate his mouth guard. And as Vic shows you this mouth guard, this is the mouth guard we're gonna add text to and he usually gets this mouth guard, which is a Bible verse, Philippians 4.13. And he has the tattoo of this Bible verse on his chest. And so right now, Vic is just cutting off the excess with the heat knife. So after we cut them with the heat knife, we take them to what we call our dust room. And we use a little drill or drummel machine and this is how we shape it. So now he's using a brush and the brush is what smooths it out. So he's taking away all the sharp edges with this brush. And when he puts the final layer on, he'll smooth it out even more. This is how we add a text to a mouth guard. Vic right here is on Illustrator. So Vic is not only a lab technician, he's also a graphic design artist. And so now what he's doing is he's prepping the text and then He's going to send it to our GraphTech plotter machine, which is going to actually, with a small razor, cut out this text. And so now he's doing what we call weeding. So John Jones wanted a white font, so we have white vinyl that we're going to be cutting this text out from. So he uses the heat gun to kind of make sure the stickers adhere and then also to make the mouth guard more shiny. This is how we prep the mouth guard before we put the final one millimeter clear EVA sheet on there. So right there, he's setting the time. So we set the time for a certain amount for the heat. So the heat is on now and it's melting the plastic. And then now we just wait for the cooling off process. So now he'll release the pressure. And the final layer seals everything in. 
And the final layer too is made of EVA, so it too is protective material. So these are the teeth that we are gonna add to this mouth guard. With our plotter, we cut out teeth. That's what these uh, green stickers are here. Then we place it on mouth guard material, EVA material. And so in reality, we're adding this, these teeth to this. So these are actually not only for looks, but they are offering more protection to the mouth guard. So this is the setup of the teeth. You have the two front teeth, the two teeth next to that, and then you have the fangs. And that's usually where we stop, but we're gonna put an additional set of teeth on each end. So on his first mouth guard, he wanted fangs, and on his second mouth guard, he just wanted regular looking teeth. He kind of melts the plastic a little bit. And when you melt the plastic, it, it adheres to the plastic he's applying it to. And see how he's kind of smashing it? it kind of makes the teeth a little bit bigger. And so this is kind of where the artistry comes in from Vic's side is that he smashes it to the size of what he thinks the actual person's teeth are. So it looks more natural. I don't know if you've seen the social media comments. They're like $200 for a mouth guard. Yeah. You get a lot of those, right? But then you see all the work that goes into it. And it's actually a really good price because if you were to get a custom fit mouth guard from a dentist, they're just gonna make it a single layer. Press it and it's done. They don't do multiple layers. They don't do, make it according to your sport. And on average, if you buy a custom fit mouth guard from a dentist, you'll end up paying anywhere from three to $500. So to get an MMA mouth guard with multiple layers plus three dimensional teeth for $200, it's actually a really good price. And so all he does now is just get a brush and clean all that off, make it really smooth. So there's no sharp points in the mouth. It feels really comfortable. It feels really natural. And that's it, and it's done. This is like the completed process. So as we say, John Jones is the goat of MMA. I would say Vic is the goat of fabricating custom fit mouth guards. So this is the final stage, and we use a blowtorch to shine them up some. Shining up all the edges where he brushed it. And that's how you make mouth guards for the goat.